It's your boy Zap, King of the Giant Robots and the Queen of Space and welcome to what's in the unboxing. We have February's Tokyo Treat Box running a little late this month so we could film another project together. So let us observe our contents. I've been seeing the Instagram ads for this one so I'm really excited. It's Berry Berry Valentine's! It's almost that time of year! The grocery stores are already flooded with Valentine's candy, so I'm a happy camper. Yeah, there's some good stuff out there. I like the, the Reese's Hearts that they've been pushing. There's the regular packing we always get, and it looks like this month's lucky treat uh, giveaway is My Melody themed, and it's super adorable. Ooh, like all pastel, super cute. I haven't heard of My Melody in a hot minute. She's around, and then the photo contest this month. Oh, the grand prize are like these super cute Starbucks cups with like bows on them. Super cute. Mm. Adorable. Okay, well, let's get to it. Let's we'll start with the sad one box. first. Why is it? Oh, because it's completely it's smushed. It's smush. <laughs> this is the Full Moon Pun Cracker. Romance by the Moonlight? Nah. We want roommate romance by this tasty moon-like Japanese rice cracker. We doubt the moon has a or we doubt the moon has a tasty, sweet, and spicy soy sauce flavor like this crunchy treat. It's like a traditional sambay cracker. I don't think the moon would have a soy sauce tr taste at all. <laughs> I would go with cheese. I think it probably just tastes like dust. <laughs> Dustal. Diamond okay. dust. Let's go with this one. At least everything in here is red. <laughs> it is very red. It's my favorite color. This is the Yamato Shrimp Crackers. This salty shrimp shaped treat is an addictive salty treat. Wait, you used treat twice in the same sentence? Kasu! It's twice in the same sentence. This, okay. this salty shrimp shaped treat is an addictively salty treat you won't be able to stop munching this Valentine's Day. Note, it does not contain shrimp. <laughs> There's a boat on here. Yamato. Yamato? Yamato. Oh, <laughs> like, <laughs> we're going to Ishkandar. Yes. Yamato. Yeah, absolutely. The old man and his wife, we're off to outer space. <laughs> Did you send a Yamato? This is the Calbi Luxury Chocolate Potato Chip. What's Valentine's without chocolate? These tasty and salty potato chips have a strong and mellow umaibo, um, um, umami? Umami, sorry. Umami. I say, we say umaibo so many times, I just said that instead. Umaibo's over here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Got ahead of myself. Umami flavor thanks to the chocolate and cocoa powder sprinkled on top. So yeah, it's had these before. ruffled potato chips with chocolate. I'm not a fan, but people love them. Right. I don't know if you got any or if I shared them at work. I forget which. Probably work. Cause Probably work. I would have passed on that one. Yeah. Now, yeah. Umaibo. Now the Umaibo. <laughs> oh, man. This one sounds delicious. This is cinnamon apple pie. Ooh. We have definitely not had this flavor before. That's that's a not corn flavor. Yeah. <laughs> Are you ready to try this Tokyo limited edition treat? This sweet slash sour snack has a hint of cinnamon that elevate the crunchy umaibo and give it a real apple pie filling. Ooh, it's got a filling. Does it have a filling? That's what it says. Ooh, Very that's an adventure. Pie. Speaking of corn, is this corn? Are you corn? <laughs> you might be turtle crackers. Yeah, it's curry turtle crackers. To break through all the sweet and fruity treats, we're bringing you this must-try curry cracker in the shape of a turtle shell. These bite-sized crackers are an addictive curry-flavored treat. I've been putting these in soups. Yeah, so maybe I don't... I'll put, try them in some ramen this time. Mm, yeah, that could be good. Some noodles. Some noodles. Ice cream. Hmm. Where is it at? Sweet, sweet. Strawberry wow. ice cream marshmallow. This marshmallow is a perfect ice cream dupe for ice cream lovers who don't want to get the chills. And the marshmallow is full of slightly sour, uh, sour, slightly sour jelly. <laughs> it's got jelly inside. Nice. Well, it's a little, maybe it's deflated. Maybe time. No, I think it's supposed to be that way. Yeah. It's just like in the cone because it's a marshmallow. Mm. Ooh, ooh, this one, because I'm so excited about it. Okay, okay, okay. It's, we've had it before, but I'm happy to have it again. It's Uncle Pierre's Strawberry Roll Cake. Strawberry. Yes, I have to say it like that. 
Indulge in some sweet and sour cakey goodness with this delicious mini roll cake. Maybe this tasty treat isn't something you'll want to share. I, I don't want to share it. I don't know. I'll just take it. There you go. <laughs> don't ruin your makeup. It's delicious. Okay. Next is we have crunchy, crunchy stuff. Delicious crunchy stuff. Yakisoba snack. Nothing is better than some sweet and spicy crunch to refresh you on a cold winter's day. These noodle-based snacks take inspiration from yakisoba and are a must-must-must-try Japanese treat. I can get yakisoba out, but the word must gets stuck in my mouth. Have y'all played 13 Sentinels yet? No. Oh, okay. Yakisoba pan. I realize I'm grinding up on the on the box. Just, just a little bit too much. Just twist it. Oh, I lose. You know these over here. That's, these are always yummy. Oh, yum. This is the bubbly Taiyaki strawberry flavor. There are always more fish in the sea, but you don't have to travel far to find this Taiyaki treat. In between two layers of pink Monoka, Monaka, Monaka, two pink Monaka wafers in a thick layer of strawberry flavored airy chocolate. That sounds way better than last time's. What was last time? It took forever to get to it. I don't know. I didn't like it. Oh, okay. It was chocolate of some kind. Yeah, I think it was a big letdown. That it was, was the like... New Year's chocolate treat Oh, thing. yeah. And it was all smushed, too, so it was a big letdown. Yeah. But I don't really like chocolate, so in my opinion, it's not fair. Right. But I do like chocolate, and it was a letdown. Oh, okay. Well. <laughs> we were both kind of like, mm, no. No, not this time. This is the Japanese squid cracker. Looking for a crunchy treat to ba break up your Valentine's sweets? Pick up this crunchy Japanese cracker. It's crispy, crunchy, and shaped like a squid, and super refreshing. Nope, it does not contain squid. So the squid doesn't have squid, the shrimp doesn't have shrimp. Does the strawberry have strawberry? I mean, probably Are we on a roll not. here. Does this have strawberry? Um, this is the strawberry daifuku. The strawberry daifuku is very good. <laughs> Dad joke. Oh, Sorry. Oh, oh, oh. No, it really says that. It's uh, this is a bleh. this fluffy marshmallow is filled with a delicious sweet and sour strawberry cream. I love those. Sweet and sour. And then not cocoa puffs. Fancy coco bolo. You can't have too much chocolate on Valentine's Day, and we're sharing one of our favorites with you. These crunchy and sweet bite-sized Japanese treats go great with milk. Give them a try. Not that don't. Oh. oh. Well, I, I mean, I guess they do, but you know, we have a different standard of. You put the chocolate ball in the milk, the milk becomes chocolate. This doesn't. That doesn't even get soggy in milk. Oh. I've let it sit in a cooler in a bottle of milk at work for 30 minutes. Last time we got that, it was like, no, they stay crunchy even in milk. <laughs> I mean, some people like that. I don't. I think it'd be good to put it like in your coffee and then like eat them out with a spoon. Sounds pretty tasty. That or like in your cocoa. That might be the better move. So what do we have now? It looks like fruit leather. It's, mm. ooh, no, she... Ume, Noshi, Noshi Ume, yeah, Noshi Ume Plum Candy, Valentine's mm. and, wow, Valentine's and be a little sweet and sour. Somebody didn't proofread this month's, <laughs> mm. <laughs> month's thing. So we're enjoying some Japanese candy that fits that perfectly. This chewy plum candy is super popular and great for a sour boost. And typically I'm not into pickle plum candy, but every time we've had pickle plum, I think it tastes like grass. It, it's got a really pretty color, but it looks like wet fruit leather. Because many moons ago, we had uh, plum flavored popcorn, and a co worker liked it, but yeah. everyone else thought it tasted like grass. <laughs> yeah, I'm not a fan of plums, though. No. We have these things. <gasps> I'm a fan of those. Those are. Saku Saku Panda Strawberry Cookies. These cute and crunchy cookies have 70 fun expressions that are full of love and they are topped with strawberry chocolate. A chocoholic's dream. This sounds really good. I want to dip them in tea. That was really good, like strawberry cream tea. That sounds like it would be really good with most of the stuff. Okay. And then we get to start get to the big stuff on this dude. Nope, nothing there. And here's the big thing from the Instagram ad this month. Wow. This is the Pocky Heartful Cherry. We hugged these tasty awesome. Pockies. This strawberry flavored pretzel has been worked into the shape of a heart and then dipped into sweet and sour cherry cream. I'm so excited about these. As you can see on the packaging, if y'all can get right up on your screens, mm -hmm. it is shaped. That's why I was like, wow, that's gonna be wild. They put in work. 
Yeah, and even though we can't see it, it shows it on the ad. If you take the two boxes and put them um, on top of each other like this, it makes a little heart shape. By putting them oh, like this. I, I, I get it. It makes a heart yeah, and then yeah. a heart. Yeah. They were showing that on the Instagram ad. Ooh, nice. And then... The drink for this month is Welch's Sparkling Rosé Soda. Rosé. Get the Valentine's vibes with Welch's Sparkling Rose. This soda is used is made using mellow and fruity grapes with a hint of strawberry that gives the soda a perfect pink color. Pink. It's so cute. Yeah. It's like grape strawberry. That could be good. I remember one of these kind of gave me a bit of a headache drinking it. Well, maybe I just should be kind of that way out. And last, oh my gosh, that's so cute. It looks like a dress. Oh my gosh. This is the Kit Kat Strawberry Milk. Share a Japanese limited edition Kit Kat with someone special. <laughs> We're gonna put that down before Zappa hurts himself. Just pop it right there on top. <laughs> the rich flavor of strawberry milk has been recreated by sandwiching strawberry and milk powder between wafers, which is then wrapped in pink and strawberry chocolate. Oh my gosh. Sounds amazing. Well then. I am gonna like use this packaging to make something cute. It's adorable, I swear to God, I had an, a Lolita dress made out of this. I've got some packaging that's been saved up for you to do stuff with. Yeah. Oh man, look, on the back there's like an origami where you can use um, the piece to make a little container, a little bag with it. That's super cute. I didn't do that with the, with the sea salt one. This is super adorable. Uh, so, what shall we sample to? Oh, make? what are we gonna try? Well, I... Man, this is hard. I want to try these cookies. Okay. The panda cookies. The panda. Plus, it's a resealable bag. Yeah. It's always easier to go through this like individualized or resealable. So cute. Mine's making a winky little heart face. As is mine. Trying to get fresh. And on the back side, you've got a panda shaped. Pretzel. It's like its skull. <laughs> <laughs> little spooky. Ooh. It smells like a candle. It do. Um, it also kind of tastes like a candle. <laughs> <laughs> the flavor is very artificial. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Like very artificial. You can like taste the chemicals. Um, I'm not sure that is. It's, it's is like it, the sparkling wine Kit Kats without the alcoholic content. Yeah, and I also like think it's the fake chocolate as well. So it's just, mm. it's a very inexpensive treat. You but, can taste that it's the fake chocolate and the fake strawberry flavor. Yeah. Uh, it's not bad. The texture's really good. It, it, it's a snack, but it's not like a top tier snack. No, no, I wouldn't. Uh, I wouldn't buy those. It's not. It's not. You know. Exciting well, shaped Pocky. We knew those are going to be good. We don't need to test those. Right. We know those are going to be good. Pocky is Pocky. You, yeah. you can only be wrong with Pocky by making a weird flavor like green tea. Green tea is good. I, well, that's why <laughs> I was getting there. It's like, I don't like the, the matcha and the green tea flavor, but I know people that do. Yeah, for sure. And I'm not super into the chocolate. Right. So. Um, but that is today's February's Tokyo Treat Box. The next one should be coming in a matter of weeks for us. Uh, so, as is tradition, these run about $35, $40. Uh, shipping is extra because the world is still in its scenario. We are going through hard mode right now, but we will endure. We'll make it. And if you like watching these videos, starting this week, I have a brand new channel called Roar Boutique, R-O-R Boutique, and we're going to be opening up the No Makeup, No Life box. So if that interests you or you're interested in cosplay, sewing, Disney, anything like that, go ahead and follow us over there as well. The link will be in the description below. And in the corner and in the end slates. It'll be, it'll be around, but I'll always be here with you doing uh, the Tokyo Treat Box right here on um, Axis Communications and Entertainment. <laughs> um, we're just going to be moving some fashion stuff over to this other channel. Um, so if you want to see more of me, that's, uh, you can do that. So thanks so much, guys. Sigzion!